Question 36. Give an example for A and B, and their angles, in degrees of radians to verify that A plus B, sorry, cosine of A plus B is not equal to cosine of A. Sorry. <laughs> cosine of A plus B equals cos A plus cos B is not an identity. So I think it's much easier to verify something is not an identity than it is. We could, you know, we know that uh, cos of A plus B is uh, cos A, cos B minus sine A sine B, I believe. Double check your formula sheet. So what do we want to do here? Well, I'm going to pick two random angles. And the angles I'm going to pick, ah, let's use degrees even. I'm going to pick A as 45 degrees. And I'm going to pick B as being 30 degrees. And hopefully these two uh, will work out. Now, when I, when I think about this, because these are the angles that I, I, I'm pick, I pick often from class. So there's one slight problem now that I think about this. If I do A plus B, I'm getting 75 degrees. I cannot find the exact value of cos 75. So I am going to change this uh, to something even easier. A is going to be 45, and B is also going to be 45. So let's just see my left hand side. So cosine of 45 degrees plus 45 degrees. You would do brackets first. So this equals cosine of 90 degrees. And we know um, cosine is the x coordinate. So when I'm at 90 degrees in the unit circle, my x coordinate is 0. So on the left hand side, I've shown that cosine of 45 plus 45 is equal to 0. Let's try the right hand side now. So on the right hand side, I would do cosine of 45 plus cosine of 45. Well, if we remember our special triangle, 1, 1, root 2, we know that cosine of 45 is 1 over root 2. We know that the cosine of 45 is 1 over root 2. And then we would ask ourselves, how many 1 over root 2's do we have? I have 2 over root 2. Sorry, 2 over root 2. Which, if you would like to rationalize, uh, you get 2 root 2 over 2, which is simply root 2. So obviously, 0 is not equal to root 2. So the expression is not an identity. So to show something is not an identity, you just have to prove it's not true for one particular value. To show something is an identity, you have to prove it's true for all values. So I'm assuming this satisfies the two marks for this problem.